right, just about ready for baseball. And today's starter, Seth Lugo. Got the win in his last start, gave up one hit as he pitched deep into the ball game. That was clearly a quality start. We'll see if he's got another one in him this time. Ready to go. Leading off. Labor Torres up to the plate. The second base. Labor Torres. And a pitch. That one finds the corner. So we're off and running in game three. Late swing fouled off. Going oh, two now. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Juan Soto now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Lugo, a 6'4 righty, 225 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. That pitch gets the corner, and a count one and one. Way inside, gets out of the way. The bat going too soon at strike two. two wow, two good strike. luck catching up to that one. One out, base is empty. Three and the curve is two down strike. and in. Hard hit left side. Fires across the diamond. They get the out on Soto. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of a... Uh, uncertainty for opposing teams especially in a big game big series Aaron Judge stands in now and watches strike one that one finds the zone no balls two strikes I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Two outs. Hard hit, right side. And it's a 1-2-3 oh. inning. We head to the bottom of the first. No score. here at Kauffman Stadium and today's starting pitcher Clark Schmidt well he's got great stuff but what makes this stuff even better is his delivery hides the ball for a very long time high leg kick and by the time the hitter sees it it's right on top of him we go to the bottom of the first Leading and to the play for Kansas Warriors. City Tommy no Fan. Tommy Fan. the pitch wouldn't All chase one. that time. Next offering is in for a strike. Ah. 
Swings through that one out in front that time. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Ball, that's outside. Swings and lines one towards the gap. Could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Not going to get safe. him. He's in there. You got to get on your horse and get to that ball and get it back in because he's going to come barreling around first and put some pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, it's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. the number two hitter pitch is in there going one foul ball runner in scoring position nobody out here in game three Great. swing and a miss struck him out well that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back that in the plate two strikes that's a pitcher hoping for a bit of a mistake Where? and I'd say in a very hittable location but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it now here's Bobby Witt Jr. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. It's Just missed. You know, Boo, this is a player with some serious speed. In 2023, he became the first player in 20 years to record two infield hits and an inside the park home run in the same game. Swing and a miss. And the count even one and one. I got a ball, one one out and a runner at second here in game three of this American League Division Series. <laughs> On the ground to third. Sends it across oh. to first. And Witt is out. And here now the lineup for the Royals. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Man on second, two down. Aye. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. And yeah, that's, that's outside. outside. It's a ball and two strikes. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Two, two, count. In the dirt, but kept close. To third. Got tag. Him. Got him. Bang, bang, play, and the inning is over. End of one, and we're still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. The wind of the pitch. On the ground. Pasquantino steps on the bag. One up, one down. Chris, you and I have gotten to work some memorable postseason games together. One I look back on 2013 ALCS game two, the David Ortiz Grand Slam. That one ripped, but foul. 
For me, Boo, the game I remember is us calling the 2014 AL wildcard game. The Kansas City Royals hosting the Oakland A's. The Royals come from behind to win. In Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. One down, base is empty. Good oh, eye in that spot. It's a good take. On the ground to the Fair left. Ball. And foul ball. And he deals. Oh, and that's that outside. No score here in the second. Hard ground ball, base knock. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Batting fifth, it. the third base is number 13. Jazz, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz now. Jr. And a good oh, eye there. Kicks and deals. Oh, that's off the plate. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Runner takes off. Hey. Swing and a miss. Throw tag out. out. What a throw by Salvador Perez. Not a fast runner on the base path, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Two out, space is empty. Just three. missed. Three balls, one strike. Now Eight it's three and two. two. Count is three and two. Out towards right center field, Isbell sizing this one up. He makes the grab, and that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Leading and now it's Salvador the Perez to the plate. The catcher. He might just Salvador. be the best hitting catcher in the game today. Oh, well, Luke, he's so valuable. Does a good job behind the plate. But offensively, he's a middle-of-the-order type of bat, especially when you talk about catchers. And their number one job is to handle the pitching staff and prevent runs. This guy is able to add runs by producing them. And that will fall. So a man on base to start the inning. Batting with the designated hitter, Paul DeYoung. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Pitch plate, misses inside, one. and that is ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals, oh. and that skips in the dirt. 2-0. Oh. On the ground at first, oh. and it goes just foul. And the right-hander deals. 
Ground ball up the middle. Torres to That's second. Out. There's one. Here's and they out. get him easily at first. It's a double play. I think four, six, three double yeah. plays yeah. like that are way it's tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter Matthew. how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play. But right there, very well done. Michael Eight. Massey in the box now. No balls in a All strike. The count. Two down, nobody on. Fought off foul. That one, one way inside. And another ball. Two strikes. Line drive. Lays out and makes the play. Great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher battles through a tough one. That'll fire up the dugout. Time to go hit. Back here in Kansas City, top half of the third the inning. And here's the first baseman, Anthony, Anthony Rizzo. You know, Boo, from time to time, players mix up their routine if things aren't going their way. And Rizzo is no exception. When he was in a slump in 2023, he changed his walk-up music to Taylor Swift. No bad blood there because it worked. He went four for four and hit his first home run in over a month. He even gave credit to Swift after the game. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. Hey. Got him looking for the K. Well, it's just a great job of playing catch with the catcher. Exactly where the catcher set up is where he threw that pitch. And probably threw the umpire a little bit because there was no budge at all. Stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Swung on, belted. That's back. And it is gone. The Yankees score first. It's 1-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Here's Alex Verdugo. That that's one misses, and that's ball one. This one rip, but foul to the right. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Hey. Next offering in hey. there for a strike. And the count, one and two. And that's in the turn. pitch rip to short wit over to oh. first and Verdugo is set down now bad the second base here's Glaber Torres. Torres 0 for Four 1 ball. he struck out swinging last time First nope. offering, and it just misses. Ah. Right 
three and over his stride. That one just misses the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. Nice the line bat, drive right? to the pull side the right, right there, but he didn't spin One. off of it. That's the still key. Good. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now it's Juan Soto. Just oh. missed. And another ball. ball. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. And a big swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike. Next offering is foul back. Two outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Finish him. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That ends the frame. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. This is the American League Division Series on the show. Set for the bottom of the third. So look down for Kansas City. Vinny Pasquantino. Schmidt back to work. Bounced up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. No throw, and he reaches safely. Batting it. The white field. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Renfro. Just nope, missed. The 1 0. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Not even close there. Two and one. Runner at first with no outs here. And that one fouled off. On the ground left side. Six. Four, three, and they turn the double play. Batting nine, the center fielder, Kyle Isbell. And now it's Kyle Isbell. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. through there for a strike the Yanks leading by a run here in the last half of the third out to short Volpe 
Slings to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Third game of the division series. Here's some real power at the plate. Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That yeah. one finds the zone. Strike one. Oh, well, in one. terms of hitting rocket home runs, Judge is near the top of that list. Only Giancarlo Stanton has hit more with greater exit velocity than Judge. Look out, nope. though. Bravo. Shohei is quickly climbing those charts. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Fan under this one. And there's one away. The catch number 28. Austin, Austin Wells, Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. 0 for 1 so far. And there's a hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive now and got, got something he can handle. Good. Absolutely hammered Jean that Carlo. baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Hey. Fastball for a strike. Stanton, 34-year-old vet. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Man at first, one away. The old oh, one is outside, outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. Jazz Chisholm now, Jr. Now, digs in now. Crazy. He's all for Jazz. one. Chisholm Jr. And that one in the air center field. Witt settles under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. Yankees won, and the Royals nothing. Bottom of the inning. Lead now here's the leadoff hitter Royals. for the Royals, Tommy no Fan. Tommy Fan. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. Hey. That one's in there. That's strike one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary oh. pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's the third baseman. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Down the line. Soto really on his horse for it. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. And yeah, the righty deals. And that one gets past the catcher. Fan into scoring position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Definitely trying to work down and get that double play ball, but it got away enough to erase any chance of that. Good job of moving up in the scoring position. Now a hit could make that wild pitch really sting. On the ground, right side. Rizzo He's takes out. it himself. One out in the bottom of the fourth. 
That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's no, early, no, 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 but you no, no, still no, no. want to move the runner Just up and give your team a chance to score. Win. That's exactly Junior. what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Here comes a pitch. And that one missing low. Righty delivers. Falling behind two and one. To third. Sneaks through base hit. In yeah. comes the run from third. We're tied at one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So digging in, Salvador Perez. And he's already singled in this game. Here goes the runner. It's a pitch one, out. No play. Saved at second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, they did everything they could to try to prevent that steal. They throw the pitch out, but just great speed on the base paths. And that's a pretty nice stolen base. And here it comes. That one fouled off. Witt, the runner at second with one away. Hard ground ball for base stop. Coming home. He will score and they take the lead. It's two to one. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. One down. Here's the Royals' designated hitter, Paul DeYoung. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was no out front that strike. time. Still only one out here in the inning. Line drive caught. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel no like it. You hit the ball hard, but Second it doesn't always man. work out in your favor. Michael. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Massey. And next up for the Royals, Michael Massey. And that one fouled off. Two runs across in the inning. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. The other way. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The first no, pitch nice job of driving uh, that pitch the other city. way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Next to hit, Vinny Pasquantino. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. And there's the strike.
One ball. Two In the strikes. dirt, blocked. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Two on, two outs. No. And there's a the ball. That one misses. And the count's full. Hunter Renfro up next. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Goes down looking. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Royals two and the Yankees one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top five, John Shami with Chris Singleton. Anthony. And leading it off, Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Oh, Outside two. low. Two and oh. No, no. You know, these Yankees, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's nope. led to some Outside. frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. in there for a strike and that's strike one out to center Isbell moving under it makes the grab one away now that and up next for New York Anthony Volpe he's already homered here in this one First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Next for New York, Alex Verdugo. He's over one. Fouled off. He was late. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. Volpe, the base runner at first with one out. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Inside, ball one. That's inside, and it's one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's his close runner on the go. And that one popped to short. As this one sized up, he's got it, and there's two away. Now back, the second base, Glaber Torres. Back to the top of the lineup. Here comes Glaber Torres. One for two.
And there's the strike. Two outs. Four, oh, that's inside. Pickoff move to first. Hey. Volpe back easily. And a pitch. Not Two close balls. with that one. one. And a count to and one. And there's a foul ball. Finish him. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And that is that. One left for the Yankees. They're down two to one. We head to the bottom of the field. Now it's Hunter Renfro. The, right, the right, right fielder. Hunter Renfro. Schmidt back to work. And yeah, that's a little bit high. 1-0. and oh. Well, these Royals doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the hey. numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. And that one hammered way back there. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Stepping in, Kyle Isbell. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. The bit behind with that swing, it's strike one. 0 1's the count. Righty to the plate. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. No outs. Runner on second. Backed off the plate that time. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind it. Man at second. Fouls it off, still one and two. At the belt and fires. Popped up. Sizes this one up. And makes the grab. Runner tags at second. And the throws off line. Safe at third. The left fielder, number 22. Tommy Pham. Here's Tommy Pham. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play. And hopefully you find a gap in the defense. That to right. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. Center field. Makes a nice running catch. And there's two down. Now got it. Third base. Mike Garrett. Now the third baseman. 
And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. There's a strike at the knees. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. Next oh. offering is downstairs. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. The pitch. Two ball. Two this one in the dirt, and well done to keep it close. And that just misses. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. So now three and two. Three. Got him. And that'll do it. So a leadoff double, but they can't cash it in. Five innings complete. It's the Royals two and the Yankees one. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Chris Bubich. Still a lot of game left, now, and this game could go either way. So Number this is a big here. opportunity right. for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Well, one-run game. Here's Juan Soto. Juan Soto. The pitch. Sliced hard, but foul. The 0 1. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Coming on is Fan to make the play. They get the out on Soto. And there's one down. That's such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Judge batting with one down takes a strike. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Sam Long getting loose out there. Hernandez also getting ready. That Whoa. one missed. Oh, and now he's falling behind Judge. One down, base is empty. This one popped up. Pasquintino has a beat on it. Two away down. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't no, hit that. it. It was just too high that. in the zone. Austin you usually see a swing and well. miss or weak contact in the infield. Wells in the box again. Oh, takes a strike. Oh. Up and in. And now it's even one and one. The Royals up by a run. And we're the top half of the sixth. That two one ball. not close. One and that's ball two. Good eye right there. Giancarlo Stanton waiting on deck if they extend the inning. Plenty of pop in his bat, so he could give them the lead with one swing if he gets the chance. Foul ball, and it remains a full cow. Left-hand hitter waits. 
foul. We'll see Finish. another payoff pitch. Two down, nobody on. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Payoff pitch. And there's ball nope. four. That's, ball That's four. a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. One of the things about that two-out right. walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Stan in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. The pitch. Ball one. One ball, one strike. That's ball two. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. To second, and he's out. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. Three up, three down for him there. Part of the order, three, four, five, coming up. It's the Royals two and the Yankees one. Bottom of the sixth inning, and to the plate for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. And the right hander back to work. Witt Jr. Outside, is one of only two players in AL NL history to have 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in each of his first two seasons, Boo. The other player, Julio Rodriguez. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. The shortstop the takes a ball. The wind and the pitch. That that's one three. misses. And that's ball three. three ball, a rare three, three ball three. count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. In the air to left center. Verdugo gets under it. Squeezes it. One down. The catcher, number 13. Salvador, Salvador Perez steps oh, in for the Royals. Yeah. Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, one this guy's got down. such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Flips the corner. That is strike two. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Got him. Two out. Well, he locked him up with the cutter on the outside right the there. And I got to think he was looking middle in hitter. because he just couldn't Ball. pull the trigger. And you know, with two strikes, fastball coming in. You've got to be ready to swing it. That time it cut to the outside part of the plate, and he just couldn't pull the trigger. And that one is lifted in the air. Corrals it. And that ends the inning. Sam Long taking over on the mound. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. The wide to kick the pitch. Stan in the box now. Take strike one. Finds the zone, and the count is 0 and 2. One and ball, ball one. Two strike. Oh, that got away from him, and he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Jazz Chisholm Jr. stepping in now for the Yankees. Jazz Chisholm Jr.
on the ground right side and there's a hit throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody out well that started and ended pretty quickly no messing around right there he kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock and we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings Anthony Rizzo steps to the play And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Nobody out. The tying and go-ahead runs are aboard here in the late stages of game three. Just oh, missed. Popped up left side. And that drops oh, back. Nice. So the tying run at second. That just bullshit. misses with that one. Definitely got the hitter <laughs> conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Next one misses, out. and now it's three and two. Anthony Volpe waits on deck. Three. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. He's already homered in this game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Next pitch is outside. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Two and zero to count. Here it comes. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And now the lefty in the air on the infield. infield fly. And the infield that fly is, is called. The left lefty, number 24, Alex Verdugo. Carlos Hernandez takes over on the mound. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So first and second with two outs. And the batter now, Alex Verdugo. Swing and a miss. Strike oh one. With the tying run at second. Go ahead, run it first. Here at the top half of inning number seven. And fouled off. Finish him. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Two on, two outs. One ball, two strikes. Squirts away a little bit. No movement on the bases. One and two the count. Hit in the air, left field. Coming on his fan to make the play, and that's the third out. Yank strand a pair, and our score remains 2 1. We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Tim Hill. 
Just trying to keep this one close now here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance Number to fight back into the game. Tim Hill. Hill. And now, Michael Massey. You know, this is kind of a the tough matchup as a left-handed hitter Michael. facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. They try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Fly ball down the line. That one gets down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The first baseman, number nine, Vinny Pasquantino, steps in for the Royals. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game. Trying to add on to that lead. You know, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. Base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seventh. In the air, left field, down the line, and that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match One up ball. better and Two who's strike. able to get to the finish line. One, two. Three. And down on strikes. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. Number so up now for Kansas City, Hunter, Hunter. Renfro. Renfro. And it's fouled away. Two outs. And a ball good one. eye there. I got a ball, one strike. Next offering in there for a strike. One ball. One and two. two to the right side. He takes it himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Royals two and the Yankees one. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, ready to begin the eighth. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Glaber Torres. And the pitch. Fastball for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Lucas Ersay appears to be getting loose. Harvey getting cranked up as well. Looking to get the tying run on base. Ground ball left side. Slings it across. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. And stepping in for the Yankees, Juan Soto. And that's outside. Next offering upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. The next three. offering misses. And that's ball three. Aaron Judge to bat next. Trying to hold a one-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. That one in triple digits. Uh, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. One down, base is empty. The 3-2 nope, is off Take the it. outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The center hitter didn't the offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So a change being made at first base. Coming in as the pinch runner, John Birdie. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge, known for his late-inning heroics. 
Throw over to first. He's good. On the ground. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Lead runner around second. Runner around third. The relay to the plate. The tag. He's out. Man, that's a play we may look back on when this one's over and wonder what if they would have held it. Can't blame them for trying to tie it up late in this ball game. But when you lose a huge run like that that's only 90 feet away, man, it's a tough one to swallow if they don't pull out the W. in the game for the Royals, Lucas Airson. And here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Fought off foul. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. And he deals. And that one Finish fouled him. off. Two outs. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string of the changeup. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. So coming into the game now on defense, John Birdie. He takes over and right. Number 19. Mark Leiter Jr. gets the ball now. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. Here's the center fielder, Kyle Isbell. Outfield playing pretty shallow. You're talking about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Up the middle, and that chance handled. On the run, throw to first. Not in time. He's safe. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. So the lineup flips over, and next up for the Royals, Tommy Pham. Line drive, and that's base hit out of the center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Let that pitch get pretty deep on him, so I think he was looking to go the other way. It was off speed and inside, though, so a good adjustment to shoot it back up the middle. Now the number two hitter. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Bunting, but that's a foul ball. This one in the air right field on his way over. 
great effort as he's able to haul it in. Tags up from second, and he'll head to third. Yeah, we'll see if moving up to third there pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go, but now he can score That's a lot of different out. ways. Doesn't Bobby have to be a base hit. We'll see what happens. Junior. Now here is Bobby Witt Jr., one for three. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in no spots. That's, That's a, a little bit low. Well, I think it's the ability one, to one, no assess side. the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. There's hey. a strike. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. Two on, one out. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch popped up and there are two outs now back the, the catcher catch sell the goal Perez. and now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals Salvador Perez Swing and a foul straight back. Right handed reliever. One ball, two strikes. Isbell at third. Fam on at first with two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. Move to first. No, Fan gets back easily. Hit in the air, center field. Judge is there. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Royals strand a pair as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Back now, now and on the mound, the closer, Hunter Harvey. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. We see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Here comes a pitch. Stan in the box now, takes strike one. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And the right hander deals. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Right hander kicks deals. Nope. Just the missing there. And the count is 1 and 2. That's a really good take. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Now, well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. On the ground to third, and it's just foul. That was close. 
One down, base is empty. Strike two. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Well, and takes low for ball one. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in a 2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. A one-run lead here at the top of the ninth. And a pitch. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. One down, runner at first. And up next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. That one misses, and that's ball one. Put a that pitch down. Check on the runner, and he's back in easily. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas nope. out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Crowd locked in right now. One-run game here in the ninth. Finish him. And misses, struck him out. So last chance for the Yankees. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Typically the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Pickoff throw, Chisholm back in standing. You know, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. Yeah. Swing and a miss, and it's one, one and one. one. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Two ball, pitch one out, but no action. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Line drive, base hit. Throw into third. And they hold the tying run at third. Throw up the stop sign even with two away. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And that one fouled off. Two on, two outs. Oh. That one close, rule the ball. One ball, one strike. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Kicks and fires. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. This could end it. Finish him. Two outs. Oh, that's six out. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two two now. Fouls it back with two strikes. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. 
you can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. It's buzzing in here ahead of game three. And we'll be back in a minute to get it started. Leading off, Glaber Torres. And here it comes. Foul ball there. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Ground ball to the right oh, side, crap. and he grabs it in foul ground. The wind of the pitch. One Way ball, high there. And a count one and two. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Here's Juan Soto. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Soto batting second in today's lineup, and he's a former home run derby champ. The 0-1. Right yeah. through there for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Nobody out. Runner at first. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. That one down the line, and that should be extra bases. Torres, round second on his way to third. Coming home. Relay throw home. Now he dives and gets the tag on him. And there's one away. A lot of real estate to cover on that play defensively. A long throw to the cutoff, man, and then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out of the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. It's Aaron Judge now. Hit hard, that gets through. Coming around third is Soto. Here's the throw to the plate, but it's no, offline, it and it's one nothing. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him a lead. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and 
Even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Digging in, Austin Wells. First pitch misses. Righty delivers. And that's in for a strike. I think it's huge that they were able to score right away. You're playing on the road. Stakes are high. Energy in the ballpark. And you have to quiet that down a little bit. One run across in the frame so far here in game three. Got him swinging. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right that there. Right. And I don't mean to laugh, but, but that's a tough it. one. I mean, pretty oh, much oh, a oh, perfect yeah. strikeout yeah, pitch. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Two outs. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to get into the corner. Here comes the judge around third. Now a relay to the plate. He's safe. Well done. Drives in the run. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Man at second here with two away. Here's the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Pass ball for a strike. 0-1. And the righty deals. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's a fair ball. Around third. Throws to second. He pulls into second. A run comes in on the play. That is, that is. Turned on it the nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. So two down, and here is Anthony Rizzo. And a foul ball. Man on second, two down. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. And it's 4 nothing. This offense is on fire. Three extra base hits in a row. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. So, man aboard. Anthony Volpe now at the plate. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Drifts towards it, reaches over the wall, and he's got it! So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. The Yankees four, KC coming to bat. And we're back. Our starting pitcher in this one, Clark Schmidt. Great sinker. Although it's not his primary pitch, it's really a pitch that he can go to, misses the barrel of the bat, gets ground balls, and lets the defense work behind him. Now, Tommy Fan. Go. For the Royals. No left field. Tommy Fan. And a pitch. And inside that's off one. the inside edge. And it's 1-0. And That's another ball. Two and out. Oh. 
up and in and now three and oh and there's the automatic three one and he couldn't come up with it pretty easy walk right there last pitch wasn't even much to think about leading up now the third baseman the third baseman Mike Garcia and that's off the inside edge ball one drive and that's a base hitter to right throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody out he was all that over that one that pretty much that's split the zone out. down the middle well, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay Junior. could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game here's the shortstop at the play Bobby Witt Jr. this guy one of the best contact men in yeah. the sport as well outstanding on the defensive end The Royals down by four here in game three of this American League Division Series. The yep, shortstop ball takes the ball. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start. Righty to the plate. That's hard hit in the line. Brings it in. Batting four. The catcher. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. Singing, they got their work cut out for them. Down a busload already in this one. And a manager does not want to see his hitters going to the plate, swinging like it's a home run derby. He wants hitters to put together quality at bats, Play the game that you've been playing and that you've been taught to play with this organization and go out there and move the line. If you do that, you're going to score some runs. Maybe you don't win this ball game, but at least you have some momentum to carry into the next one. Schmidt, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight ball spot, right that is pretty valuable. Runners at first and second with one gone. And another ball. Two on, one out. And that one missing low. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. One run is in. Around third. He'll score. Two runs are in. And now just a two-run deficit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. And it's second with one away at the play. Paul DeYoung. Hey. And that clips the inside corner. Runner at second here, one gone. Slice the other way and foul. One that ball. one way outside. Two one and two to count.
and the pitch. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. That Two good. strikes, yeah. sort of pitch you're hoping base. for. A bit of a mistake, like, oh. and I'd say in a very Maddie. hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. So up next, Michael Massey. That hey. clips the corner. Well, with this many pitches Four thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Here's your one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Oh, and tie a guy up like that. You're feeling like you are in command. Runner at second. Two down. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But they'll pick up a couple runs here. Both coming on this two-run double. It's now 4-2. Back here in Kansas City, new inning getting started. And stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. The wind of the pitch. Strike one. Gotta love the intensity of postseason baseball. Players on both sides at such a high level of emotion, everything is amplified. And there's the strike. Talk about that intensity, boo. It comes out of everybody. Think about celebrations by players like Carlos Correa, Jose Bautista, Kirk Gibson. Just iconic moments. And yeah, that's outside. Now one and two. Left hand batter waits. Good Outside eye in that spot. Ball. It's a good take. Three. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Well, that high four seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters the off. They're trying to stay back with two Later. strikes, make sure that four. they can handle something off speed and just with good spin rate good rotation through the zone elevated a little bit get a lot of swings and misses and that's a really nice job right there that one rip but foul one down base is empty now fly ball to right center he's there he's got it and there's two away now batter, right fielder, Juan Soto. Two outs, base is empty. Juan Soto getting ready to hit. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boog, light tower power. That's right. And Aye. that gets the top of the zone for a strike. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Two down, nobody on. All one. Finish him. That's and it's even two. up. chase that time he should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked on the ground to the left and that's just foul and a payoff pitch 
high fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center that's back there got all of that one he flexes his power with that swing and they add a run it's 5 2 and that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. He gave it a great effort, but you know, those plays are so tough to pull off. And I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Judge, oh, the outside. next to hit, takes outside. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here at the top of the second. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Got one ball, one strike. Judge comes up empty there. One ball, two strikes. Next nope, offering upstairs. upstairs. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Perez on to first. That He's completes out. the strikeout, and that'll do it. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's 5-2. You're watching the American League Division Series on the show. And welcome back to the Lady ballpark. The and board. now the first baseman, the Vinny Pasquantino. Vinny Pasquantino. The pitch. Right side. Steps on oh. first for the out. Batting it. The right fielder. Hunter. Renfro. Hunter Renfro at the plate. There's a strike. Yankees up by three. Bottom half of inning number two. Next nope, pitch is downstairs. Ball. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty of this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But, yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. The pitch. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about no, it. It passed feet. right through the heart no, of the strike no. zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having nope. conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. Kyle Isbell in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Two out, space is empty. And oh, another like ball. That one fouled off. Two outs. Comes hey. up empty. That's strike two. Two two is down. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there. But you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. On the ground, Torres handles. Tosses to first. Oh. Royals set down in order. Nothing doing for the Royals. And the deficit remains 5-2. set for the start of the ball. inning. Now here's the Yankees the cleanup hitter, Austin Wells. Austin Wells. The pitch. 
And it immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Now, I think this is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Balls it in, and there's one away. Now that designated hitter. Now here's John Carlos Stanton, doubled in his first AB. Outside low, and that's ball one. One out, base is empty. The next oh, pitch misses, scary. and now 2-0. Oh. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. One down, base is empty. Ripped on the ground a second. And they take oh. care of Stanton for the out. Now got it. Third base is Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Stepping in now for the Yankees. Doubled his first time up. There's a strike. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Nope. Ball one there. Ball one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike three. at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And a count two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. And a two two. Slang and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing here this half. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Yankees five and the Royals two. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, the here's Royals. the left fielder, Tommy Pham. Tommy Pham. Schmidt back to work. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Waste no time there. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Now the number two hitter. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. At the belt and fires. Pitch ball misses. Two. Now two and oh. Ball. Runner no in strike. scoring position, nobody out. Here in the last half of the third. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Two ball, one strike. Hey. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Move to second. Fam back to first safely. Mm -hmm. 
Man at second. Bounced out to short. Zips it to oh. first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. The batter no number seven. seven. Shortstop, Bobby, Bobby Witt Jr. And now the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. 0 for 1 so far. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. The That's shortstop the takes the ball. Count one and oh. And he deals. Nope, inside, ball two. One out and a runner at second. Whoa, Next pitch off the play. And it's 3-0. and oh. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle-of-the-order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. The 3-1. Fought off foul. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. The catcher, number 13. Salvador. And to the plate for Kansas City, Salvador Perez. He drove it two with a double his first time up. That's ball, off that's the mark, and that is ball one. Ground ball left side could be two. Volpe tossed the second, and that's He's two. Out. One hit, one left. Game three moves on to the fourth. It's the Yankees five and the Royals two. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Anthony Rizzo. Lugo back to work. That's in for a strike. Bullpen action for the Royals. Michael Lorenzen up and loosening in the pen. The pitch. And that one a little below the knees. One and one. foul back our way and that's out of play here's a one two and Whoa, another I ball can't. This is in the dirt. And he walked him. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. And at first, Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. He's 0 for 1. And for a strike, 0 for 1. Volpe, a former Gold Glove winner, 22 years old. A former first-round pick back in 2019. Next nope. pitch is outside. outside. 
Way yeah. out front for strike two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next offering oh, okay. upstairs. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. The pitch. Three. Struck him out. He says, I don't care about draft rounds. Take a seat. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Here's Alex Verdugo. Struck out swinging his first time. That one ripped. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Next oh, wow. offering is down low. 1-0. Man at first, one away. Two Almost goals. got him. Two strikes. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Kicks and deals. And okay. another ball. On the ground, could be two. There's one. Whips it to first on the run. They get the out, and that'll do it. So they go quietly there. For midway in the fourth, it's the Yankees five and the Royals two. Into the pitch. That clips the corner. Well, these Royals showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of tired in the fourth. Well, they locked him up with the cutter on the outside right there, and I got to think he was looking middle in because he just couldn't pull the trigger. And you know, with two strikes, fastball coming in, you've got to be ready to swing it. Base is empty, one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Verdugo snags it on the run. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already no, on the board, the fact that that high Vinny. pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Vinny Pasquantino, the next to hit, grounded out his first time. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And that's a strike. Outside low, ball two. And another ball. And the right hander deals. And that's ball four. Close pitch there, but you gotta forget about that caller. You're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first. And then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout.
Renfro oh, that's off the in plate. now. Takes ball one off the plate. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Judge makes the catch. And that is that. So one left for Kansas City. They trail at 5-2. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Michael Lorenzen. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about now, middle innings, and he need a little length Number out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see Whoa, just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So the batting Beauty order ball turns ball. over. Here's the, the second, second baseman, baseman Glaber, Glaber Torres. Torres. And a pitch. Lorenzo, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a sinker, and occasionally Glaber. uses a cutter. And Glaber takes outside. And that Both one is inside. Kicks and fires. Wouldn't Whoa. chase that Damn. time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a foul straight back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That's to third. Gets it to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now back the right field. Juan Soto. And next for New York, Juan Soto. He's already homered here in this one. That's in for a strike at 95. It's 0-1. And a strike in there. One down, base is empty. Nope. Just okay. missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right oh. now. That one just missing inside. And the count's even at two. Here comes a pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. And the righty deals. And that's outside. And it's three and two. And it's ball four. He missed down low. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Not a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches. And somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And foul ball. Oh, one down. Oh, one. And Judge spoils that one. And here it comes. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Hey, and another oh. ball. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back now on now track. Now. Good pitch for the strikeout. Austin. Well. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Austin Wells. Oh. 
Wouldn't Too chase high. that Hold time. On. Two outs. There's a strike. One and one. Fastball hey, for a strike. Him. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Renfro going back, couldn't Hello, get to foul. it before it dropped foul. Righty to the plate. Headed down the line. And that's a foul ball. Here's a one-two. Just oh, misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That Three, one two. almost got him. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Left-hand batter waits. Three. Got it by him for the K. The Yanks lead one. They're still out in front, 5-2. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now, Kyle Isbell. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. High in the air, out to right. Soto gets under it, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The bat, no left fielder. Here's Tommy Pham. In the air, right side. And just foul. Righty delivers. Swings through that one for strike two. Oh, two is the count. And one the ball. next pitch is way outside. The Royals trailing by three. Last half of inning number five. Close, but call the ball. And it's two and two. Bounce to third. Chisholm. And there are two oh. outs. Now batting. Third baseman. Mike Here's the third baseman. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Out to short. Throw on to Rizzo. That ends the inning. Top six, and now the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. All one. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Carlos Hernandez, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Long, a left-hander, also throwing. At the belt and fires. Hey. And that's in for a strike. It misses. It's a strikeout. 
Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as it's coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Next offering in there for a strike. No and it's nothing in two. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Ah. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. Well, it's just a great job of playing catch with the catcher. Exactly where the catcher oh, oh, set up oh, is where he threw that oh, pitch. And probably pulled the umpire a little bit because there was no budge at all. Two outs, base is empty. Anthony Rizzo will hit next. Just oh. missed. The pitch. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swing and a miss. One Might ball. be time to Two choke strikes. up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Three. Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors. Part of the order. Three, four, five coming up. It's the Yankees five and the Royals two. Back here in Kansas go. City, where we go bottom six. Now That's here is Bobby Witt Bobby Jr. Witt Jr. And the pitch. That Aye. one at the knees for a strike. Well, these Royals finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunity. Now this one stroked to right center, and that should be extra bases. Witt around second. Now he launches a throw over his head. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. Drove in two runs on a double back in the first. He's one for two. And that one fouled off. Runner at third. Nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And that's there's a ball. ball. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Three. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie. You can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Here's the Royals' designated hitter, Paul DeYoung. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front. No ball, two strikes. Field two. Three. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. 
And now he's got a real chance at stranding that leadoff triple. No yeah, back-to-back back back strikeouts, and now Second the scoring man. probability goes Michael. way down, and Matt he's just got to focus, execute a couple more pitches, and can walk back to the dugout and breathe a sigh of relief. So up now for Kansas City, Michael Massey. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Two outs and one in scoring position. Breaking ball inside. And now it's even one and one. And there's a foul ball. Two outs. That Two one ran inside, almost got him. The 2 2 on the way. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two outs with a runner at third. And he can't come up with it. Runner from third comes across. It's 5-3. And no throw for some reason as he reaches first. That's got to be an error. Two outs, runner at first. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. Up the middle, sneaks through, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Back-to-back -back singles. Timing on the swing was good. Eight. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. First and second, two down. Hunter Renfro steps in for the Royals. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. One run in the inning, but they leave two. On to the seventh now in game three. It's the Yankees five, Royals three. We go to the top of the seventh. Anthony. Now it's the shortstop, the shortstop. Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe. Lorenzen back to work. Hey. There's the strike. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. The shortstop takes the ball. Back-to-back -back -back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Here's the 2-2. Stays alive. Now and downstairs. Two. Good job to fight that one off. 
Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall out. Very gritty. And up next for New York, Alex Verdugo. Close nope, one doesn't get the call, and it's one to know. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. And a count even at one. Oh, right. The 1 1 is fouled off. The pitch. That one two, two. missed. Yep. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Now back. The second back to the top of the Yankee Glaber. order. Here's Glaber Torres. Torres. One for three. Just oh, missed. And a strike to Glaber. That was a point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider. Run around the move. Up the middle. Fires over to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. And here is Juan Soto. He launched this solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Yep, one That's oh. a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The pitch. Ah. That one catches the zone. And one and one. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And he deals. That That's misses. Two. Now two and two. Runner at second, two down. Here in the late stages of game three. Hit hard on the ground is short. To first, they get the out on Soto. And that is that. One left for the Yankees. And it remains 5-3. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Mark Leiter Jr. Now pitching for the New York Yankees. Number 38, Mark Leiter Jr. And now it's going to be Kyle Isbell. We're talking about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. A wind and a pitch. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Here's the 0-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. One in the ball, dirt, and a count one and two. Right. 
in the air, pretty deep out to center field. Judge is under it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Now that left fielder. Now the left fielder, Tommy Pham. One for two. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can Whoa, match up him. better and who's able to get to the finish line. One down, base is empty. Ground ball up the middle. Volpe. And there's two oh. away. Now back. The third baseman. Mike Garrett. Garcia. Now the third baseman. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Pitch misses, ball one. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. 2-0. Right through there for a strike. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Oh, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to... Aye. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. KC down in order. Still a two-run deficit. It's 5-3. Welcome Not back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number Carlos three. Hernandez. Carlos. Hernandez. Yeah, the hard-throwing righty trying to the secure these outs against a potent Yankee Aaron. lineup, and it starts with Aaron Judge. The pitch. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. And he held up. Judge rips that one. It's a bomb. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to be foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. And now here is Austin hey. Wells. Fastball oh, in one. for a strike, and it's 0-1. Nobody on, nobody out, and we're at the top of the eighth. Next offering is in for a strike. Bullpen action for the Royals. John Schreiber preparing to come on if needed. And he hits a ground ball right side. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Up next to the Yankees. The designated hitter. John Carlo. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Pitch nope. misses ball there, one. and that's ball one. That's a little bit low. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. That's down and in. And a four-pitch walk. 
first base. Y'all just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and now that guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging Jazz at something out of his own. Jr. Man at first with one gone. Jazz Chisholm Jr. digs in now. Yeah. First pitch swinging. Oh one's the count. Next Ooh, one is off down. the plate. And the count is one and one. And there's a ball. Next oh, offering upstairs. And ball Inside. four, two ball aboard. Four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted now in first ahead. base with the a quick base. free pass. Anthony. So Rizzo. first and second with one gone. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. A strikeout and a walk. One finds the zone. That's strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Hey. On the inside corner for a strike. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Pitch one in ball. the dirt, and two it's three. one and two. Ball, and a curve now. misses outside. And a pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One out. Runners at first and second. Rip to first. Caught it's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you the will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, Anthony. you feel like you've done everything Anthony. right. But in this now game of baseball, not everything is in your control. John Schreiber will take Go. over here. And this could be a pretty Schreiber. critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. So first and second with two outs. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Hey. Slider for a strike. Hey. Next hey. offer is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. One Next ball, offering way off the plate. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Hey. Got him. They limit the damage here. One hit in the inning, a solo homer. Last half of the eighth coming up. Yankees six, Royals three. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll Double into the bottom of the eighth. Tommy Tom Canley. Canley. Three, four, five, do up for the home team. Bobby Not Witt Jr. Now. now at the plate. Witt Jr. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Next pitch is outside.
Foul ball there. Here's a one-two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Perez, the next to hit, takes ball one. One down, base is empty. Just oh, off out. the outside edge. And yeah, that's ball two. There's a strike. Here's a two-on. Next outside, offering is outside. Swing and a miss. And the count is filled Helpful. up. On the ground to third. Can't glove it cleanly. Roll picked out of the dirt. Body save. The batter, number 15. Designated hitter. One goal Paul runner at first. And next is the designated hitter, Paul DeYoung. Swing and a miss. 0 oh, and 1. Next That's pitch misses. And the count even 1 and 1. And Two another balls, ball. The Royals trailing by three here the bottom half of the eighth inning. He fires in a fastball at 95. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. The so out of the pen comes the right-hander, Luke Weaver. My goal, Massey. And next up for the Royals, Michael Massey. No strikes. That one down That's the line, crap. and it goes just foul. Two outs. That nope. misses the zone, and it's two and two. two Recognize two that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. We got a full count. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. 
That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Now bad. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. So two on with two away. And here's the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. And oh, that's outside. That One and oh. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. In the air to left down the line. Dives, but it's foul. First and second, two down. Tying run at the plate. Up the middle. Collected by Torres. Jumps. Throws. An acrobatic play to end the inning. Royals strand a pair. And can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Sam Long. Bringing in the now lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Number Classic bullpen move right here, so Fair. we'll see how it works out. Long. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. Over three with two strikeouts Verdugo. and a ground out. As the lefty gets to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Movement in the bullpen. Chris Bubich, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. The wind of the pitch. That one lifted to left. Fam under it. Makes the catch for the out. Up next for the Yankees. The second base. Back to the top Labor. of the lineup. Labor Torres up to hit. Right through there for a strike. That one called a strike. And a count is 0-2. 0-2 count. Both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. One down, base is empty. In the air, left field. Fan settles under this one. Makes the grab for the second out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming no, no, no. open instead of staying closed. Wow. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two down, nobody on. And now it's even up. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Ball, two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one, two. And another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Eight. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Nothing across here this half. 8 9 1 2 up in the bottom of inning number nine. Yankees six, Royals three. Back here at Kauffman Stadium. And now the right fielder, Hunter no right Renfro. Field. Hunter. Hunter. Renfro. And here it comes. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one.
and One that's ball. downstairs Two and strikes. outside. That two missed balls. by a lot. Two, two and two. And the righty deals. That missed inside. Counts full three and two. And they'll do it again. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Judge really on his horse for this one. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. So, man aboard, Kyle Isbell steps in for the Royals. That's a strike. One one. If you're gonna get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's gotta look over the shoulder and say, I'm just gonna keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Next ball offering one. misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So the Royals now batting order that. turns Let's over. Argue. And here is Tommy Pham. Misses nope. off the plate. And that's ball one. The Yankees leading by three here in the last half of inning number nine. Hey. Here's a strike. Out to short, Volpe. And they're Here's down up. to their last out. Now, now batting, batting, third, third baseman. baseman. Mike Down the number two Garcia. hitter. That ah. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Throw to first, oh. ball game. And the Yankees take home field advantage right back. They win game three to go up two to one. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at one and one because you put yourself up. Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Nice win today. Six three, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.